welcome to another week with Bloombox Co. I hope everyone's enjoying this amazing weather. We're pretty spoilt at the moment down here in Melbourne to have beautiful blue balmy hot days. Great for the beach um, and to getting out about with it. This week we have a beautiful recipe of flowers. Again, all locally grown. Let's take a closer look. We have got the asters, which are the most cutest most colorful little flowers. These are obviously white, but they come in an array of um, purples and pinks. They're little chubba bubba flowers. We've got a fantastic favorite of everybody's. We've got the um, Lysianthus, which each flower just gives off such elegant qualities. For something a little bit zingy and zany this week, we've got the Sedum, which is really low maintenance. It's part of the succulent family. All of these little top bits will flower. This is green on green. You can get different colors in the sedum in like burgundies and pinks and those sort of muted soft tones. But the sedum this week is going to add a real pop of sophistication and make everything come together. The two foliage elements that we're playing with this week, one of them is classified as a, a feature foliage and that's the fantastic Dusty Miller. It's got beautiful velvet qualities on its leaves like you want to feel and it's just soft and luxurious uh, with its petals and the other foliage we've got which is no need for an umbrella fern this week with the weather but maybe for some sun protection <laughs> is the umbrella fern which is fantastic for adding a little bit of architecture to your arrangement uh, really simply with one or two pieces so yeah let's get arranging now we need to do some basic conditioning to rehydrate the flowers and make sure that they're going to get their best longevity. All that is, is a fresh cut on their bottoms, removing the foliage from the lower part of the stems and into beautiful fresh water. We are going to start this week with the Lysianthus, which some basic conditioning with the Lysianthus is a quick trim on their bottoms, remove any of the foliage any little um, imperfections like a bud that might have got snapped just a little one like there just snip it off and into the fresh water if you get a nice sort of juicy thick stem like this lysianthus what you want to do is just cut it through that center thick section and that will basically give you multiple stems to work with the good thing about lysianthus they don't take much to look good so they really um, like their own room and let them naturally splay out. And it's really nice to have a silvery toned uh, foliage instead of green on green. So this is really gonna pop and add a bit of difference to your arrangement. The silver suede too, if it's kept a little bit short at the neck of the vase, will help support the other flowers once you start putting the other elements in. We're gonna play with the sedum next. Now the sedum is a groovy little, oh, like avatar kind of space aged little clusters of flowers at the top. It's got a really quite thick, juicy stem, so you wanna make sure you give it a, a good trim, trim it on an angle, and then just weave it through, giving it some really nice space to, um, yeah, to sing in your, in your vase. I'm gonna put that one just up the top here next to the Lysianthus. It's looking great. One of my favorites at the moment. The asters have got a main stem, but what you will find is there's actually multiple stems on that one branch so if you actually remove say the bottom couple it gives you a few more extra stems to play with so i'm going to leave that one quite solid give it a trim and then nestle it through just there a little bit taller than the uh, setum and then with these little bud bits just strip them down again and again weave them amongst the other blooms there. And last but not least, we've got the umbrella fern, which is going to add that really nice architectural element to your arrangement. And you just want to trim it so that and position it so it sits just on the neck of the vase on either side. And it adds that really professional feeling to your arrangement. So there you have it. There's this week's glow with the flow. Have fun.